guys, this is um, day one of, uh, of the vlog series, of the YouTube series. So um, I just wanted to give you guys an inside look of uh, what a day is like um, here in preseason in the MLR as a professional rugby player. So I hope you enjoy. First thing I do after I wake up is I hydrate. I was just sleeping for nearly eight hours without any water. So I immediately hydrate with half a lemon and Celtic sea salt. The lemon is great for your liver and the salt adds in essential salts and minerals that you don't get just from drinking water. Next thing I do is I hop in a cold shower. Sometimes the pool if it's cold enough, um, but it shocks my body. You can get a really sustained release of dopamine and it's pretty uncomfortable, which is the big reason why I do it every day. Go listen to Dr. Andrew Huberman for more info on this. Uh, from there, I treat myself with a coffee. Um, it's colostrum, it's collagen, MCT oil, grass-fed butter, but I was all out. Some people call it bulletproof coffee. Um, I, I, I love it. It's like jet fuel for your brain, and uh, I feel so good afterwards. But just having a routine every morning keeps everything consistent rather than just winging it. And so, yeah, that's kind of what the first hour looks like. And here's a little bit about why I started a vlog. The magic question is, why did you, why did I start a vlog? And um, I've been wanting to do it for a while. Probably like years actually. And I just, I was always worried about what people are gonna think about it. What people are gonna say, the opinions of others. And finally I'm at a point where I was like, why, why do I keep caring about that? Like if I wanted to do something for so long, just do it. Cause that's what I preach to everybody. That's, that's what the chase my podcast is all about. And so now I'm finally taking the step to do it. And so the vlog is about sharing stories, sharing content, sharing with people how I live as a professional rugby player. I love vlogging, I love creating content because honestly like it keeps my mind off of everything else. It keeps me really like singularly focused. Um, and I like creating cool pieces of work. I like spreading messages, I like sharing stories, I like sharing ways that I live, in my eyes, what I think is a high performance life and how I can use what I'm doing and the messages and, 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 and the tips and the tricks and, and, and all that sort of stuff to, to help somebody else, whether that, that helps them out physically or mentally or that inspires them to, to go chase their own dream. Like, I just want to be able to use the platform that I've been fortunate to build through the sport of rugby, um, not just to benefit myself, but to benefit each and every one of you guys listening and, and as many people as possible. And so that's kind of the, the story behind it all. And it's going to be a work in progress. And I know this video is probably not going to be that good, but Rome wasn't built in a day. You got to start somewhere, right? So I hope you uh, stay with it. So let's get into the day. Breakfast today was four eggs, fruit, heart and soil, organ supplements, and the coffee that I made. And then, yeah, I did the dishes, cleaned up, packed my bag, and I drove off to the stadium. If you know Houston, you know there's a ton of traffic. And so it took me about 25 minutes to get there. There's our gym. Here's a little look at our stadium, which I'm biased, but it's definitely the nicest in the league. And three weeks ago, I herniated my L4, L5 disc. So I've been I've been doing rehab every single morning. Um, we get in there around eight o'clock, the rehab crew. And for me, it's a ton of core activation and a lot of stability work to ease off that pain. And then around nine o'clock, everybody's in. We start the days with a team meeting. And then from there, we hit the field for our session. So here's a little look. Um, the mornings are chill. That's our units, which is basically like your position groups. Um, we got such a good group of guys out there. So much fun out there. Um, and that kind of just reminds me why I play rugby. Like it, it's heaven for me out there and everything in my mind just shuts off. And then once that's done, it's time to smash a gym session. Hot as shit. That was the longest I've ran in like three weeks. <laughs>
So after we smash the gym session, I come home, I have lunch, which, yeah, sorry, I didn't show, but some leftovers from yesterday. I got into my work emails, uh, trying to close some brand deals. So that's what I'm working on. And then there's the content calendar for the next couple of weeks. Just make sure everything's in order to, to post. Um, we have about two and a half hours in between. So I watched a little rugby. I made an amino acid drink, just, you know, thank you, Thorn. And then I drove back to the stadium. Thank God the traffic was pretty light. There's a look from the outside. Um, once we arrive around 1.30, some boys screw around with soccer ball. It's all fun and games. Two o'clock, we'll hit our meeting, and then we hit the field for our team session. That's us just getting our hands warm, doing some skills before. Um, the afternoon sessions are always way tougher than the mornings. Uh, real fast, real physical, and more of a team session. There's a beautiful downtown H-Town. And then right when I got home, I was so thirsty. So I thought that was going to be a grapefruit because when I bought it at Central Market, it was in the grapefruit section, but ended up being an orange. So here's a little hydration hack for you. Squeeze half a grapefruit or an orange into some water with some Celtic sea salt. It's... Uh, it's a cheat code, and thank me later. Uh, and it was so good, I ended up just eating the other half. I was going to save it. But uh, check this out. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's pretty much a full day, day in the life in, uh, in preseason. It, it's a long one, honestly. Like, you know, you're up at, I think it was about 5.45 I was up today, and got home around 4.40, um, a gym session, two field sessions, full day rugby, just being outside. But honestly... I love it. Um, I couldn't even imagine myself doing anything else right now in my life. So for me, it's not really work. It's just having fun every day. It's like, it's physically demanding and mentally, but there's so much reward that comes from it that none of that really becomes taxing or like, like it never feels like a job. Um, and I think that's something that I wanna inspire everybody to do and a lot of the time it's taking a risk and leaving what, you, leaving what you're currently doing is to go chase that dream, to go chase that passion that won't feel like a job every day that you wake up. And that's my, that's my piece for today, my, my, my motivating words. But um, now the rest of the night, I'll show you guys what I'm going to cook dinner. Definitely going to be some beef. Um, I, I think I eat steak like every day. And then uh, we'll get into probably a little relaxing. I'll probably watch some Vikings, uh, maybe stretch a little bit. And then, you know, the evening routine, which I'm big on, which I, was big, I just started that a few few months ago. Um, I realized, you know, if I wanna have a great morning and, and, and win the day, then um, I do X, Y, and Z every morning to, to set, you know, the tone, the pace for the day. And sleep is probably the biggest, the biggest piece of recovery for me. And so if I wanna optimize my sleep that I need, I figured I, I should probably have, you know, like, a, like an evening routine, so. I'll show you what that is and then we'll cap off the first vlog and hopefully keep making many more of these. So yeah, let me know in the comments um, what you kind of, what you guys want to see. So let's get into the evening. Dinner tonight was beef, like I said, raw cheddar on top, fruit and honey. And then here's a little uh, meeting that I had. My goal is to grow this thing as big as I can. And that's going to give me the ability to touch as many people as possible and hopefully inspire that many people to go chase their own dream. Quick meeting with one of my mentors, um, talked about the brand, and then yeah, starting the evening routine, I, I picked up a book. Me and my book club are reading The 1% Rule, which I highly recommend. I read for a half an hour, and then I hit the floor to stretch. My lower back was super tight from the day, so I try to open it up a little bit. Um, about 15 minutes of stretching, nothing, nothing too major. And then yeah, start winding down. Like I try to get in bed around 9.30, there's me doing the four, seven, eight breathing method, which can calm your central nervous system, relax your mind, and just get you in a really, really relaxing state to go to bed. I brushed my teeth and 9.30 hit and it's lights out. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I really do. Let me know what else you guys wanna see and thanks for watching.